this video, I'm gonna show you how to make at least $105 per day selling things like AI art. Now look, you see this guy right here? So this guy, his name is Frankie Shaw. Now listen, Frankie Shaw, anytime I take this guy's advice, I literally end up making money. And just the other day, I saw him posting on Instagram, like stories and stuff. He was like, listen, you know, you can buy high quality digital art on Etsy, put the art into like something like print on demand, and then you can start a Gen Z poster business. I saw that and I'm like, this guy's actually right. So he says these are impulse buy products, zero excuses to not be able to do like 750 to 1200 a day in sales with a budget of 300 to 400 dollars in ads. So I actually did the math, okay? I did the math, bro, I did the math. And I'm just like, okay, let's just think of the worst case scenario. So 750 minus 400 dollars, worst case scenario, you'll basically be making 350 dollars after ad costs and all that. So if you just take 30% of that, considering the cost of goods, this is basically gonna become 105 dollars per day. Now, once again, anytime I'm telling you, anytime I take Frankie Shaw's advice, I always end up making money. So in this video, I'm literally going to take you through step by step what you should be doing to actually do this whole business. So in the second story, he said that there's over 16,000 options, basically automate them, put them into like a print on demand service. And this would take anybody four to five hours to make $300 a year of business. And then basically he talked about how you should be running ads. So you should be using Facebook ads, Instagram ads, 18 to 35, Wi-Fi enabled, mobile only. On Facebook, I'm actually banned. So I'll show you how to do this maybe on Pinterest, for example, because Pinterest is pretty much the same as Facebook right now. And to be honest, I have more experience in Pinterest than Facebook. So <laughs> I'm a Pinterest guy, not a Facebook ads guy. Okay, so the very first thing I did is actually I went on Etsy because we're getting it from Etsy, right? And I was just like, gallery wall. That's what I searched up. Now look, I'm going to teach you a little trick that I learned from an Etsy consultant. So you know how we basically type in gallery wall? It's basically going to show us like all these products, right? But for some reason, if you click here, there is no more bestsellers. For some reason, Etsy took that out. But we want to see the bestsellers. I want to see products that are like literally the bestsellers. So then what you do is that you click on all filters right here. And then basically click on star seller and then click on apply. Now this is going to show you like all the star sellers that are on Etsy right now. But what you do is that again, you want to see the bestseller. So what you do is you see this thing right here. So basically just remove the word star and then just type in the word best. So this is going to be bestseller and then click enter. And then right now you'll see like literally the best selling gallery art. So all of these things right here, like the art, it's all digital products. These are not like physical products. And again, the entire idea is that you want to take like any of these digital products, art, and then start selling it on your own store outside of Etsy. So we're not making anything. We're just taking art that's already been proven to sell very well. And we know that because we just literally sorted everything by bestseller. So if you scroll down, you'd see like, for example, this frog right here. And then like there's like this other gallery art right here. It's just so much, so much art, man. Basically pick whichever one you would like and then start selling it. Now I clicked on some. So for example, I clicked on this store right here. And I really like this store because they have like 400 sales. But then if you go down, you would see like, yeah, they started in 2022. But like just recently, they started getting more sales on like this specific product right here. So I don't know what they did. But all of a sudden, like this month, they started getting sales on this product. So this product right here, you could pretty much tell that... This product right now is in demand because there's like over 20 people have this in the cart. So I clicked on it and then I'm like, okay, can I actually buy this? But then sadly, I noticed that if you actually click on the description, you would go down and they're like, this purchase is made solely for personal use. So this is what you want to focus on. Don't be going around buying like any product that you see that you think is good. Some of them apparently you actually can't even buy if you want to resell them. Like for example, this one, if we bought it and then we started reselling it, most likely would get in trouble. So you do need like a high testosterone if you're going to be selling something that you're not supposed to be selling. And nowadays, sadly, man, that testosterone is just going down. So I'm not going to use this as an example. However, I saw this store right here and I'm like, hmm, this stuff is actually very nice. And then I just went down. I'm like, okay, are they saying anything about like, you can only use this for personal use? Like you can't use this for commercial use. And no, like they, they didn't really say anything like that. So for this one, this exact product right here, you could pretty much just buy it, put it in like a print on demand service and then start selling the physical product. What's cool is that you don't even have to do anything. You're just dropshipping it. And then I saw this one right here, which is actually the one that Frankie Shaw recommended. And I'm like, this one is definitely going to work. Like if I just get this one and then put it in like a print on demand service, it's definitely going to get sales. But then I scroll down and I'm like, all of this is just in Spanish. I can't read Spanish. So I pretty much can use this. No, no, I'm just kidding. I don't think we could use this. <laughs> I can pretty much understand that they're saying all rights reserved. So I don't know if you can do this, man. I don't know if you can sell this one. So just for the sake of the example, we're going to be using this exact product right here. So what you actually do is that you go and buy it, bro. You got to add to cart and then just buy it. Oh, and you know what? Let me show you a little trick that I learned that's going to show you exactly if this product is actually selling or not. So you know how we basically added this into the cart? Now look, if you actually just press back, so I pressed back right now, okay? It's going to tell you this, 70% off sale ends in 25 hours. So some products, it's actually going to tell you 
How many people bought this in the last 24 hours? So let me show you like a real life example. So right now it is actually in our cart. So if you just go back, it'll tell you four sold in the past 24 hours, which is beautiful. This literally tells you that this product right now is selling. Now, obviously four sold in the past 24 hours is like not that much, but again, we're not gonna be using Etsy for this one. We're gonna be taking all these designs and putting them on our own store and then bring an ads to these products. So basically we're gonna buy this one right here for only $5. So I'm literally just gonna buy it right now. We'll just proceed to check out. I'll just buy it and then get back to you. So it says, thanks for your order, Hamoudi. We sent a receipt to this exact email right here. I go and check the email. I'm not gonna check the email right now, but I go and check the email and there's literally nothing. Where's my freaking order? I checked the email. They didn't even send the order with the PDF. I keep refreshing, I keep refreshing, but the thing is not even sending. So I just literally paid money for this thing and uh, I'm not getting the PDF. <laughs> <laughs> so for some reason, the store is not really sending me the email with the PDF, with the design and the art. So you know what I decided to do? Obviously, I'm gonna have to adapt. So what I did, I'm like, I'm like, screw this freaking thing. This thing's not even working on me, man. Usually when you buy it, you're supposed to actually get like a PDF with the art in it. So you're just supposed to like download it and then start using it. For some reason, that's not happening. So I went on mid journey and I was like, listen, fool. Imagine a hype beast sneaker poster. So then they give me like these posters. So let's just imagine right now that I actually did buy it and I received it and it looks exactly like this. I mean, if you actually look at this, this is actually very nice. Like it drew it just very nice. Except that here it says Nike. Er. So we're just going to pretend like this right here is the actual art that I just literally paid money for it but didn't get. So once you do get your art, it's obviously you have to go on Printify now. And basically just like, usually I tell you to browse around and everything. But this time, click on catalog and then go on canvas. Because we're basically trying to do a canvas. Either canvas or poster. So like here, you can do canvas or poster. I'm gonna do canvas right now. And then once again, like you see all this stuff right here, pick anyone you want. But just remember, whichever one of these they actually pick, when someone actually buys the product, they're gonna be receiving like the exact poster right here. So for example, if I'm gonna be picking this poster right here, it's gonna cost like $25, $26. So I'd have to price it at like at least $50 so I can make sure that I'm actually becoming profitable. And you know what, I just changed my mind. I don't wanna do canvases, I'll do posters. I wanna do posters. So this poster right here is 4.66, so it's very cheap. So I can price it at like at least $30, or I mean maximum $30. So basically click on it, and now we're gonna start designing. So if you just go down, just click on start designing. And then from here, this is where you're gonna be adding the actual PDF art that you got from Etsy, even though in my case, I got it from Mid Journey. So click on my device, and then just stick this one in right here. So you'll see it as like very small in the beginning. Just try to make it bigger. And then there we go. It actually looks very beautiful, man. Wait, you know what? I just checked my email and it says, Hello, Hamoudi. Thanks for shopping on Etsy with this store. We're still processing your recent order. It's going to take within 72 hours. I don't freaking have 72 hours. Anyway, just click on preview just so we can actually see how it looks like. And it looks just like this. And then in terms of context, it looks just like this. Dang, this is beautiful. And then for this one, it looks just like this. This is so freaking beautiful. Anyway, you just click on this one and then just save the product. But for the first image, I want to go with this one just because it looks so freaking beautiful. And then for the name, you can name it anything, but you don't want to, like, you don't have to worry about SEO stuff. So I'm just going to say something like Hype Beast Poster. And for the description, you can just chat GPT it. You don't have to overthink this stuff right here. This stuff is really not that important. And then for the price, they're telling you to price it at like $25 which is not that bad. You're left with actually pretty good profit. You can price it whatever you want. I would actually do something like $29.98 and you'll be left with $15 profit, which is pretty good. And then when you go down, just click on connect store. And here you have your store, so just click on connect. And then you're gonna be using Shopify. So you actually have to connect this on Shopify. We're not gonna be using Etsy because we're gonna be bringing traffic from the outside, like from Facebook or Pinterest. So we're just gonna be using Shopify for this one. And when you do click on Shopify, it's gonna tell you to actually connect your store. So just connect whichever store you have. And then here, click on install app. So yes, you do have to use Shopify once again. If you don't know how to use Shopify and all that stuff because you're not experienced with it, there's so many YouTube videos, bro. By this time, you're supposed to like literally become an expert at Shopify. So then basically you'll have the entire Printify stuff in your Shopify and then just go down and then make sure you actually publish this. Now, when you do publish this, now you can start bringing traffic into this exact product. And then once you get sales, Printify is gonna know and they'll just print everything for you. So it's actually very beautiful because this is technically almost like a digital product because you don't have to do a lot. Like as soon as you get an order, Printify is gonna take care of it. It's print on demand. So by the way, this is how it looks like. This is the title that we wrote and this is the picture. I mean, bro, the picture looks, it looks so nice. And then you scroll down, this is the description. And then you can pretty much put any reviews here that you want. But like the picture, bro, it actually, bro, this is high quality. Anyway, save this image right here. So basically just save it. And now I'll show you how to actually do the ads on Pinterest ads. Now look, you could do this on Pinterest. You could do this on Facebook. Once again, I'm not that experienced with Facebook. Like I've made money with Facebook, but it's just that 
I've done a lot more on Pinterest. So basically click create campaign and then make sure it's actually conversions and then just name the campaign whatever you want. So I'll just say hype beast. And then for the budget, you can put whatever budget. Usually I would do something like $10 because Pinterest usually spends it very fast. So $10 is actually pretty good. Now look, if you guys don't have this thing that says conversions right here, if you're just starting out and you've never done Pinterest ads before, you're not gonna have conversions available. So what you do, listen, I'm only gonna talk for this one. I'm not gonna show you, but what you do is that you go on your Shopify. Well, first you actually install the Pinterest tag on your website. Then you go on Shopify, you make a new product for $0. Then you go and buy that product at least 10 times. So you're buying from your own store, but it's at $0. What's gonna happen is that this is gonna trigger the Pinterest conversion tag. And it's gonna tell Pinterest that, hey, look, this store is actually getting sales. So when Pinterest thinks that you're actually getting sales, they're gonna unlock this conversions campaign for you. Now you can actually go ahead and then just do a consideration campaign, but like when you do a consideration campaign, no one's ever gonna buy. And then you'll be like, man, I'm getting so much traffic, but there's no sales. Well, that's because you're optimizing for consideration. You only wanna optimize for conversions and that's it. So if conversions is not available for you, just like rewind this whole video so you know the exact step-by-step -step on how you actually unlock the conversions. Anyway, basically go down. So it's called Hype Beast. Forget all this stuff right here, put it at $10 and then click on continue. Now name the ad group, whatever you want. And then for this one, just click choose your own. For audience, in the beginning, you're not even gonna touch that. For interest, just put this down. And then for this one, you can actually play around with this. So you can go completely broad and then target everyone. But if you wanna, like honestly, this is just up to you. This is gonna be left for you to test. Now, I would honestly start, first of all, with art, just because we're actually selling art. So I'm pretty sure if you actually click on art, you'll get pretty good sales. In the beginning, I noticed that if you actually put interest in Pinterest, <laughs> interest in Pinterest, your campaign is gonna start off a lot better compared to if you just do like a broad targeting. Now, obviously this depends on the product. So if your product is like super general, you don't wanna put anything here. But if your product is, for example, eyelashes, then you wanna put beauty. You don't wanna just go completely broad. In our case, our product is art. So I'll just, I'll just click on art. Then for the demographic, basically put this down. We're gonna be picking all the genders and then pick specific gender. So Frankie Shaw said that you should only do 18 to 35. So we're basically gonna take all these people out. No need for these old people. Obviously no hate on old people. They're just not gonna buy a poster for Gen Z people. And then for the location, remember you're doing print on demand. So Printify is taking care of everything for you. So I'm just gonna do all the big five countries. So like I'll do Australia, I'll do Canada, I'll do the US and then I'll do United Kingdom. And then also obviously New Zealand. And then for the language, I would take all these out and only keep English. And then for the devices, I would take out web and then take out Android. So basically keep mobile app and then iPad and iPhone. Why? Well, because this guy said it, only mobile only. <laughs> but if you want, you can pretty much keep Android. It's just that I don't know any Gen Z people who use Android nowadays. So it's up to you if you wanna keep Android or not. But I would keep mobile app and iPad and iPhone. And then for this one, make sure you actually put checkout. If it only says add to cart, that means you didn't listen to what I told you when I was talking about how to unlock conversions. But anyway, you keep this, the bidding as automatic and then basically create the pin. So we're gonna be using this exact picture right here, which once again, bro, it looks so freaking beautiful. And then for the title, you just wanna put like the actual offer. So like we can say hype beast poster 50% off and you don't really have to overthink the description because most people are not even gonna read the description. And then for the board, just create whatever board you have. This doesn't really matter. I'm not gonna go over things that are not important by the way. And then here, put the actual link to your Shopify store, but make sure you do the product page. Not the home page, but the product page. And then once you do this, just click publish and you'll have the ad right here and you'll have everything here set up. So then just click on publish and you should be done. But by the way, actually, hold on one last point. So before, so just go back to the campaign before you click run continuously, click on run on specific dates and then basically take this and then put it at like the next date, put it at the next date and then make sure it's all like zero, 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 zero. The reason for this is because if you put it at like the end of the day, which usually for Pinterest, they use like UST or something or here like UTC. So if it's six o'clock EST at your house right now, they're gonna basically be spending the entire budget immediately just because to them it's like the end of the day. And then you'll notice it's like, bro, I just spent $10 and like got no sales. So for Pinterest, you actually wanna do it at like the next day. Usually I don't care if it's the next day or like the day of, I don't care about that. But for Pinterest, I do. And then once you're done with that, just click on publish and then that's it, you're done. But just to recap, what we just did is that we bought a high quality digital art on Etsy, which we did not receive. Apparently it's gonna come in 72 hours, which we don't have. So instead what we did is that I just went on mid journey and then I just created like a quick art just so I can demonstrate for you. It's just for you, bro, for you. And then we put the downloaded art into Printify, Printful, whatever it is, a print on demand service. In my case, I use Printify because I'm more experienced with that. And basically we just started a Gen Z poster business. So once again, these are impulse buys, which means the reason why we didn't focus too much on copy and like 
thinking of the headline and the description and all that stuff. Because again, these are Gen Z chodies. They're gonna buy it on impulse. They don't care. Like they don't, they don't want to read all that stuff. If you just show them something that they're actually interested in, and you know that they're actually interested in it, because like here, a lot of people on Etsy are buying the stuff, then they're gonna buy. It. Like that's it. They'll buy. It. So he says there is no excuses for you to do seven hundred fifty to twelve hundred dollars a day in sales with a budget of three hundred to four hundred. So if you spent four hundred and you got no sales, then this doesn't work. But if you spent 400 and you got a few sales, that means focus on actually getting a good high quality art. Maybe your art is just not that good. And then if you're profitable, then once again, Frankie freaking Shaw is actually right. Again, bro, anytime I follow this guy's advice, like I just end up making a lot of money with it. So I did use Printify in this whole video. So if you wanna have access to Printify, just click the link in the description. It is an affiliate link, so if you want to help the channel out, you can pretty much do so. But yeah, bro, hope this video was actually helpful. Big thanks to Frankie... Frankie... Frankie Shaw. <laughs>